So today on Destination RVA, we've got a very special treat for you, and it's not just our special guest host, Shane Patrick Cruz. Thanks for filling in today for Shannon Milligan, who got abducted by the real estate universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Glad to be here on the other side of the camera so you all can see my beautiful face. And mad props to Courtney for videoing that beautiful face today. Mm, absolutely. Thanks, Courtney. And now we got to go inside to Circuit here, which is one of Richmond's top destinations and play some video games. So Shane can probably cry a little when I kick his butt in some games. Not going to happen. It's going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm Shannon, your Richmond Realtor at RVA Home Team. And I'm Jonathan with J Squared Stage. And this is Destination, Destination RVA. RVA. So come along with us as we are your tour guides for some common and not so common destinations in Richmond, Virginia. So today we are at Circuit in Scott's Edition in Richmond, Virginia, and we are here with the owner, Rob. Rob, this is an amazing concept. Thank you so much for joining us. Great, thank you for having me. It's good to have you here. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. it. So can you tell us how you came up with the concept of doing a barcade here in Richmond? Yeah, um, a good friend of mine in Iowa has a, a barcade. It's a little bit smaller, and uh, just uh, love the concept and the model. I love arcade games, uh, and uh, it's a throwback to my childhood, and just uh, thought it would be cool for Richmond. So, how did you come to gain all of the machines? Are these the machines that you've collected over the years, or did you reach out to collectors? How did that work? You know, uh, a friend of mine in uh, Iowa helped me find some, and I found some. So, throughout the country, we hunted. It took about nine to ten months to get all of these games. Uh, it was a challenge, and then you had to have a tech and get them you know, ready and prepared. Yeah. To open. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely a uh, process and it's a hard work. Yeah. I'm sure. Do you have a favorite game? Yeah, probably uh, Galaga and uh, Ski Ball probably. Yeah. Now you have more space uh, than just the game space. You actually have a bar and a sitting area and a really cool uh, giraffe, uh, giraffe area up there too, right? So tell people what that's right. Too. Yeah. So, um, you know, when I thought of a barcade and my friend's concept, I saw this self-tapping beer wine system in uh, Europe, I watched from Germany, and we were traveling and saw the concept that it'd be great to tie in with arcade and self-tapping, and, and perfect for Richmond to be one of the first ones with a self-tapping beer wall, wine wall, and we have cider as well. So, uh, and then it gives it's kind of like a beer festival every day. You, can, you don't have to commit to any beer; you can try every beer, and it's kind of it makes it a real. Uh, you know, event for groups and for friends to gather together. Sure, speaking of that, you open at 5 p.m. for everybody, but you can have special events here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the, uh, we've had many several uh, events, uh, private events, corporate events, birthday parties uh, during the day, so before we open, anytime from 11 a.m. to up to 5, you can uh, rent the whole facility and have a private event. Um, and it makes a uh, real you know, fun gathering to have the place to yourself makes it real special. And we'll see you next time on Destination, Destination. RVA.